Hello, today we won't be needing this counter attack box because we're doing the Tabletopia online official tournament in season six of counter attack. Now, before we start, just to say that there's actually a beginner's cup running in the Discord. So if you join up with the Discord server, it's open to anyone who's not part of the league already. So feel free to just come along, learn the rules, and play the game. You've got until the 1st of May to register. So uh, if you feel up for it, join the Discord and come and sign up. So before we get into it, just going to point out that this video is going to be slightly different than the rest. And that's basically because this was one of the last videos that I actually recorded when I was on my old laptop that was dying. So when I was playing the match, the sound recorded perfectly, but the footage not so much, as in this example here. So what I've basically done is used all of the footage I have got and just recreated it all in Tabletop Simulator. And I've set up kind of like old war gaming battle reports where you kind of watch people move their armies across the page. So I would say it's a highlights video, but I've just cut out a lot of stuff. And sometimes you might notice one or two people a couple of squares away and then they seem to just move an extra square or two. And that's just where I've just tried to do my best, but everything will work out as it was all intended. This is also going to be part one. I was going to do the whole video, but it took quite long to get it all together. So I've got a part one now and part two will follow. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video for some final thoughts. Yep, yeah, all good. Okay, so I will shuffle the cards. Okay, shall we start uh, with picking the referee? Yep, yeah, sounds good. Just grab one off the top, isn't it? Yes. Then we got Ducker. Okay, then I will place the goalkeeper cards in the middle. Okay, so uh, take your first goalkeeper. Then I will take mine. Oh, no, this guy. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, and pick your other goalkeeper. Uh, this one here. Okay, I will pick that one. Uh, shall we roll the dice for who starts the yeah. drafting? One. <laughs> Five. Wow, well, that was good, wasn't it? Yes, okay, so I pick first. Okay, I think I will go with we do it. Hello, Oli. I'm going to take Delgado. Okay, then I will. I guess I will take Moon. And then I'm left with Lopez. Okay. Then it's your turn. Have a quick look at who we got. Well, I have to take Buzek for England. He's coming in. Okay, then I go with. I'm not quite sure the pronunciation. Muriucci. Then I'll take Ferraro from Italia. Okay, then Riberio for me. Maybe I will go with the guy from the USA. Oh, nice. Sorry, not all of them, just the one. <laughs> well, I will go with. K Oskan from Turkey. Let's go with him. Leaves me with Kerr. Right, I'm going to have Mr. Turto here from Brazil. Yes, it's Janssen. And then I'll go with Oresta from Argentina. Okay, I think it has to be so. I have to take Willems. Okay, then. What is this? Right, I'll go with Fruen. I go with Goalie. 
take a bank for now. Okay, it will be Rebek. Take Peterson. Okay, let it be Anderson. Menefit Kuzman. Uh, what colour do you want for your team then? Uh, if it is okay for you, I will go with the Ajax like team. Yeah, I'll go for these red guys and take the pink goalkeeper. Got so one again. For me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then three to one. Oh, lucky for there. Two. Four. Okay, it's you. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for me. Uh, I think I'm good to start now. Okay, it started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just do a standard pass back to number four, which is ten paces away, which should be acceptable. Okay. And then obviously follow that up with a movement phase. So Lopez is going to move pace five. Five. Ferraro has pace six. Four, five, six. And Cosmin is pace four. Maybe four. And number two over there, Kerr, has got pace five. My number seven can move four. My number nine can move five. My <coughs> number ten also can move five. And my number eleven can move six. My number six with two moves right there. Number three has got and then number eight. Right, then uh, following movement phase should be a standard pass then. Just going to okay. go from number four to number three. Right, another movement phase. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five for number three. One, two, three, four for number four. And five for number eight. And four for number nine. First, I will move with my number three. Then I will move with my number two. Then with my number five. With my number four. Okay, that's me. Yep, number ten's going to move two spaces there. And number eleven is going to move two spaces here. And then following that, I'm going to do some sort of pass, but I just need to work out which. Yep, so he's going to do a high pass to number nine. Okay. Uh, so he's 13 spaces away. Yep, number six is going to move there. Six. Right, so I need... Eight plus three or higher. Okay, so the yeah. ball is accurate. He's going to head it over to number ten as a pass. Oh, okay. So we can't do a shot. Uh, so Lopez is just going to dribble with the ball then. I guess okay. movement, movement phase. Raro is going to go six. Well, it's just going to go four. Uh, nine can't move because he headed the ball. But eight will go five paces. Number three is going to come at the pitch. Be five. I will move with my number five. One, two, three, four. And I will try a tackle. Tackling skill is five. My dribbling skill is free. One, <coughs> four. OK. 
Okay, so I guess it's a clean tackle. Yeah. So I will continue with a standard pass to my, to my number number four. I will move player number three. One, two, three, four, five. My number eight. My number eleven. And then with the play the player with the ball, my number four. We are move. Yes, and that was my four. Okay, so Lopez here has got pace five. Uh, and then Ferrara has pace six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to obviously try and tackle from behind to get the ball. Okay. And that's tackling four. And uh, I have a dribbling of one. Oh, I did not see it like that. <laughs> so I've got eight. Okay, and I got two. So. so I could just take a standard pass to number 10, I guess. Yes. Well, I guess number 10 is going to um, dribble the ball, movement phase, we've got pace five. One, two, three, four, five. I think you get to move one square when I move in the box. Uh, yes, it's my goalkeeper. Exactly. And he's also gonna he's gonna take a snapshot from there anyway. Okay. So you get to move another player up to two hexes. Yes. I guess that will be my my goalkeeper there. So obviously I'm just gonna shoot uh straight at the corner there. So Lopez has a shooting of four. Okay, my goalkeeper has a saving of five. And okay, so I guess it's saved. Yeah. Okay, so I guess now I have to roll uh, to see if it's a corner of yeah uh, or uh, hand handling, roll, isn't it? Yes, uh, my handling is four, so two. Then it's handled. Okay, so I will do the throw next to my number three because that is the maximum distance. And then I will initiate the movement phase. Okay, first I will move with my number three and I will pick up the boa. Then I will move my number seven. Then my number nine. My number ten, and that's it. That's my four. Okay, right. So I'll move number eleven first. Number four has pace four. Number five has pace five. Number three has a pace five two, and then number ten, who stood miles offside, is going to come back five spaces. Yeah. Okay, then my. The movement will be my number eight and my number eleven. Okay, I will try a standard pass to my number eight. You can steal it if you roll a six. Okay, that's lucky. Then I will initiate a new movement phase. Okay, I will move with my number eight. I will move with my number five. I will move with my number eleven. One, two, two. And my last one is with my number three, two, three. 
Okay, that was my war movements. Okay, so I'm going to move number three, number four. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, just over there. Number five is pace five, so one, two, three, four, five. So he's going to tackle in from behind. So again, oh, then it's a foul. foul. Uh, resilience of six, so, uh, so you're only ahead. if I roll a, roll a six, it's a one. Okay, so I'm not injured, but you're booked. Yeah. I can, no, sorry. I can choose a free kick. Yeah. Okay. But I think I will play on. Moved three, four, and five, so I've got two movements left. I think, yeah, because he moved there, he moved there, he moved there and tackled. I guess I'll just bring this man over four spaces there. And number six is also going to move four spaces. Then I have a two of two movements. It will be my number ten. And... My number 11. Okay, then I will initiate a new movement phase. And first I will move with my number 8. Then I will move with my number 9. I will move with my number 6. And with my number 7. That's it. Okay, so I'll first move number four. Number seven's also moving four paces. Number three is pace five. So Williams again with pace five is going to make another attempt at the ball. So again, tackling four, okay. he'll make yeah. another attempt. Tripling uh, of three. Okay, so it's a tie. It's a tie. So lose ball. I will roll for the direction. I uh, will roll for the distance. Uh, so do we start a new movement phase now? Yes, uh, but I'm still the attacking yeah, yeah. one, so yeah. I can move first. Okay, so with my first movement, I will... Go and pick up the ball. It's exactly four hexes. Yeah. Mm, I will move with my number seven. One. With my number ten. One, two, three, four. With my number eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's my four. So first up, number three. Number four with pace four. Number 11, pace six. I guess number five will have to make another attempt to get this ball off you. <laughs> okay. So four paces there. So tackling four oh. plus five. So we've got a nine. It's another loose ball. <laughs> because I have a dribbling of three. Yeah. Uh, if you roll for direction again, and I'll roll distance. Yes, okay. So I've got six. six. Okay, then it's a throw in. Okay, so I position a player there, and we do a movement phase. Am I right? Yep. Okay, then I will... Do it with my number six. I will move my <coughs> number seven, number nine, my number eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and my number three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so number eleven's going to move. 
three pace. Number six is coming down at four. Uh, number seven is just going to go over here and join these guys. And then eight and ten are both going to move five paces as well. Coming back down. Oh, there. wait. Uh, you you had the chance to move the players in my final third when this all happened. Okay, so I don't even need to. Okay, well, I'll move these guys. Uh, uh, my timer just went off. Roll plus leniency is number of actions. I guess so, yes. I guess it's a maximum of seven yeah, actions. So. Right, we'll just move this number two. Uh, yeah, that's me done moving. Okay, so I have an extra two movement. It will be my number eight. And my number 10. Okay, then I will do the throw into my number 8. I have to do a movement phase. Or can I shoot from there? Yeah, you can do a snapshot. Yeah, so, so the goalkeeper moves one space because you're taking a shot from outside the box. Yes. And this guy will move two spaces because it's a snapshot. Yes, and this shot is traveling through of the hex of number five, so it is possible to deflect it with a dice roll of five or six, I yeah. guess. I think it's five or six, so. isn't it? Yes. Uh, nope, two. Okay. Then, I have a shooting of five minus two penalty. It's Three. And I have saving of four. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, it's definitely yours. Our first Joker dice roll. Perfect time to get it as well. Yes. Uh, and so I guess. I have to do my handling, don't I? Yes. Okay. Handling five. Oh. Uh, so, I would like to do what you did earlier and just take a throw in then. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can throw it eleven spaces and it'll be one away from number six. And then start yes. a movement phase. Okay. Yeah, so he'll go one to collect, two, three, four. Number two is pace five. Number nine has pace four. And number 11 is going to come up with pace six. That's my four. I will start moving with my number two. With my number five. Four. One, two, three. My number 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. With my number 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's it. Okay, then uh, this will be a 2 hex move for number 10. And a 2 hex move for number 8. Yeah, that's that's my plan anyway. So I'm gonna do a long, okay. a long pass. Uh, I mean, for that part there, high pass of five plus the dice needs to be nine or better. Uh, so it's not. So it's a loose ball. Yes. 
So if I roll for direction, land up there, and then distance. Six. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, now this is a problem. <laughs> right, so nine and eight can't go near the ball. So ten will go pace five. Eleven's going to come up pace six. Two's got pace five. Six has got pace four. That is my four move. And I will dribble with my goalkeeper with his sixth pace and Pace, pace. And I will pick. Yes, my Arthur's goalkeeper. Man on the pitch. <laughs> Almost yes. So now I have the ball. So the movement phase is over, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can call it. So yeah. I don't have enough movements to start the new tackle. So my next move would be to dribble away from your number <laughs> 10. And I think then that's it. So I, yeah. I think we can call it half time. Yeah, I'll agree with that. So there we go. That was the first half of the first match for season six of the counter-attack season tournament on Tabletop Simulator. It took a slight bit of getting used to because I hadn't actually played it on Tabletop Simulator before. And obviously the rules, you've got to relearn them a little bit if you've not played it in a while. And there's a couple of differences between the actual online tournament mode and what came in the box. One of them being the jackpot dice, which is brand new, but that's quite a cool mechanic they've introduced. You may or may not notice there's a couple of rolls that are a bit wrong. Like towards the end, we had one extra action that we weren't using, although I may have cut that out. Similarly, when we had the throw in, we rolled off for it because we weren't sure whose it should have been. It should have been the attackers, so it went the right way anyway. And then here and there, there's just one or two times when we were sort of like going, is this what we do? Are we sure? But anyway, we both managed to get through it, nil-nil. So we'll have to see what the second half brings once I've done the editing. So hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you for part two. Cheers.